Hi folks, Des Phoebe here. Um, so this is just a follow up from yesterday's video where I talked about the differences between the 2008 recession, which I started my first business up in, and what is going to be the 2020 uh, recession. And I omitted one very important factor, which will caveat everything that I've said previously. Um, and is a major difference between the 2008 and 2020, or the food and beverage um, industry. Um, now I asked for everyone's opinions. I didn't really get much uh, response on that one, but um, so I'll, uh, I'll let you know what the major difference is. And basically it comes down to competition. If you can recall back in 2008, uh, if you walked up and down the high street, in uh, in the F&B sector. What kind of competition that would you have had in that that period? Um, now, certainly in London, you probably had quite a lot of the same sort of competition that you've got now, but outside of London, in, in the areas that I am, um, so I'm in Chester and we cover a lot of the rest of the country. So we've always lagged behind. Um, in 2008, when I first started my, my business, Subway had only just opened. Um, Costa Coffee, Cafe Nero, Starbucks, they'd literally only just started the year before. Uh, so there wasn't an awful lot of competition on the high street. And now if you look at what's happened over the last 10, 15 years, uh, it's a proliferation of coffee shops, of quick service restaurants, casual dining. So it's ballooned. There's a lot more competition out there now than there was in 2008. Now we did really well in 2008 because it wasn't that kind of competition. Will we do the same um, this time round? I believe we will um, because the severity of the um, recession that's coming, I think will level the playing field quite considerably. There's gonna be an awful lot of bloodshed, as I said, on the high street in terms of retail and food and beverage. So, there, although there may not be, not have been as much competition in 2008, there's going to be more competition now. Um, but a lot of people are going to go bust before, before, um, you know, maybe even be before this lockdown is over or very soon afterwards. So, the level, you know, the, the playing field will get leveled a little bit. Um, but there is a caveat there. We don't know what we're coming to come back to, do we? None of us know what we're going to come back to. Um, are the public habits going to have changed? You know, are they going to visit the high streets like they did before? You know, there was falling footfall anyway. Um, three months later, are people going to have st established different habits? Or are they just going to flood back because they've been penned up for, for so long? Um, and that's something that none of us really, you know, really know. But in terms of uh, the major difference is that there is certainly a lot more competition on the high street now than there was in 2008. And we're all going to be fighting over the same piece of cake. So, you know, that could be survival of the fittest. Um, the trend has been to go, you know, for the public to go and visit more uh, independence than the maybe branded um, restaurants and quick service um, prior to this in certain locations certainly you know certain places like Brighton um, have always um, seemed to go more for the independence than they have done on the branded um, but at the same time you know people will fall back into some of their old habits maybe and, you know the McDonald's as I said before are always ones that do really well um, dominoes you expect to do well um, but there is a caveat like I said you know it's everything I've said before there is more competition than there was last time around um, but you know things things could um, be pretty bad out there um, but there could be some really significant opportunities for us as well and, and I guess um, we're all finger in the air job at, at the moment. Let's just hope it doesn't go on for longer than three months because if it really does, then I think you're talking about a completely new um, 
scenario for for everyone um i can i can cope with just about three months um with my my business and with my strategy i believe we can prosper um thereafter but if we go beyond three months well you know that's a it's a different ball game altogether isn't it so okay um hope you're finding these videos um interesting the feedback's been really good so you know i'm going to keep on doing these i'll probably do one every every few days um and if you want the longer version of all of this i do my um podcast called franchise entrepreneur you'll find us on itunes spotify youtube and i go into a lot more detail on everything i've been talking about over the last few days so okay thank you and i'll see you again soon stay safe